I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me. An open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. Uh, welcome everybody. This will be just a basic setup for installing mods for State of Decay 2. We're going to use the mod integrator or the mod manager by Halos. First, you need to make sure that you can view hidden files by going to the File Explorer. In the window, you can click on the Viewed for the drop down menu, then go to Show and make sure that there is a check mark on the hidden items. Then the next thing that must be done is adding a packs folder to the game save folder. You can do this by going to your C drive, then the users, followed by your username. Then you will see the app data folder that you just unhid. I click into this and then into the local, and we will see a list of apps. Scroll down to find State of Decay 2, click to open, and then click the save folder. And in here, you will need to place your PAX folder if it doesn't exist already. If this is your first time, you'll have to create one. Right click in an empty space in the window and go to New Folder and then just name that folder P A K S PAX. That's it. We are now ready to start modding the game. Next, go to nexusmods.com. Link will be in the description and register with a free account. You can go premium if you would like to support Nexus, but that is the only reason because it will not speed up the download because most files are under a few megabytes anyways. So when you're here first and you've got your account set up, click the magnifying glass and search for State of Decay. The first one that usually comes up is the Mod Manager from Cal Halos. Uh, click to open the mod page, and here you can see some details of the mod when you scroll down. Then go to the File tab and click the Manual Download. Never click the Mod Manager Download. Always click the Manual Download. After that is done, go to where it is saved. The Google default save location is the download folder. Then right click on the zip file and extract there. Move the unzipped exe file to your desktop or your mod files folder if you made one. I recommend you make one at this time. Open the mod manager and you will see the three items in there. Delete each by clicking the trash can icon next to each item so there is nothing in the manager we can begin to get mods. Back into the Nexus Mods website, on the home screen, if you scroll down a bit, you'll see a View All Games. It'll click it, and then there is a search box on the left to type the name of the game you want to mod. Once you find the game, you can click the plus icon in the upper right corner to save the game to your game drop-down menu from the home screen. It just helps you get there faster the next time you want to download some more mods. I usually start with the latest tab because it most likely will be compatible with the latest version of the game. There is a next page to click at the bottom of the mod list to show more. After finding a mod, I want to use the no water drag on my cars. So I click into the mod page and scroll down to look for any helpful info and then go to the file tab. Again, never download the Mod Manager version. Always grab the manual download. I click the download option. I use the free one. After it's done, go to the folder it was saved in, unzip it, then move the extracted file or the folder to your Mod File folder, the one you made earlier. In the Mod Manager window, there are four options at the top. The only one you will ever use is the far right create mod integration. Open your mod folder and drag the mod into the mod manager window and it will automatically add mods into the packs folder as well. If this is your first mod, you will have only the mod in there if you delete the three files already. <laughs> if you did not, then delete those files now. With the mod check on the box there next to the mod, go to the upper right box in the manager and click create mod integration. Now you have two lines and are ready to test if it works. If you are adding mods after you integrate, just add them the same way, then uncheck the integration box and click the Create Integration button and it will make the list of every mod that is checked. If you want to remove the mod, just close the game, 
all the way to desktop, open manager, uncheck the mod and integration, then create integration again. And as you can now see, the car is a lot slower when running through the water. Most mods will be handled by the manager. And with that, I think that's going to about cover everything. If you have any questions, I do have a Discord. It is linked in the description or on my YouTube homepage. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps, and I hope it helps clear up some things. Just remember to always unzip your mod. I know it says you don't have to, but I've never had them work when I tried to do the zip file. So I always unzip them. Have a good day. Till next time. Hey, and if you haven't, how about give a like, maybe a subscribe. It would really help the channel. Thank you so much.